everybody, it's Brian. And it's Tim. We're in Blue Ash, Ohio, a city that neither of us are very familiar with, but I gotta say I'm enjoying the backdrop. Warm We've got this uh, amphitheater. We're here kind of in center court holding, holding fort. And uh, as we were kind of coming down here, I, I found the set list for the band Ooh La La. They played here on the 26th. Um, I mean, such classics as 96 Tears and Brown Eyed Girl, Van Morrison, that's a classic. And then the, the and then of course the show closer, the finale. Nah, nah, hey, hey. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Speaking of which, here we have a beverage. Why not sample it? Here we have Donkey Kong. Is he the antagonist? Is he the protagonist? There are theories on both sides. Personally, I think Mario is a douche uh, holding Ooh. him hostage. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Jumpman, you want to take this? And the best part is this is actually chilled. Most yeah. of the time, what we uh, buy comes right off the dollar store shelf, and it's it's kind of aged and warm and and stuff. This is uh, jungle juice, so it should um, give us the power of Donkey Kong. Beautiful, Beautiful color, just uh, fantastic, almost a fuchsia. Okay. Did you jump the whole thing? Okay. okay. Now, this is an energy drink, right? Yes. Okay, so hopefully I'll actually, you know, start That unmistakable fuzz, uh, mm -hmm. that, that nice finish on energy drink is unmistakable. You can almost feel your organs rotting inside you as you drink them. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel my dentist bills actually piling up when I take a swig of this. But I gotta say, the, the first impression is nice. It's kind of fruity, kind of floral, fragrant. Yeah. Um, it tastes like raspberries plucked from the vine. It doesn't have that usual overpoweringness that a lot of energy drinks have these days. Now, the back end's that super, not necessarily acidic-y, but very, you know, that pop that you get with an energy drink. This isn't so bad. I mean, you know, last season of the BNT show, we did some energy drinks, some hot culture energy drinks. I, I don't remember all pan, but I don't think any of them fared too hot. It was more so the gimmick, but honestly, uh, blind taste test, I, I could do a, hell, this is only 8.4, I could do a 16 ounce of this. Agreed. But moving on, can you handle the guile of guile? Whoa. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom! Have you seen that video on YouTube, Zangief Kid? No, I have not. Oh, okay. Is well. he up for adoption by chance? Uh, no, this should be, I know a guy. Uh, a guy. He, he is still not, swinging on this fortunately. One. All right, so this one is slightly greenish in color. We recycle here on the BNT show, ReviewTable.com. We're a green, we're a conscious company. This will be going into the recycling bin. We recycle oh. ideas, we recycle jokes. That is like a lime green. That's also very, very uh, pleasant to my eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna take a swig of this. I might hop up on stage and just serenade all these uh, beautiful folks. With a, with a song or two. Yeah, we'll this, is def this is definitely anime guile. This is not the Jean-Claude Van Damme guile. Yes. Uh, what can we say there? Guile was, he was not the, no the most newbie friendly uh, street fighter. For no. that, you wanted like E Honda or Blanca, someone that you could uh, pound the buttons and make them either do the 100 hand slap or something like that. But Guile, Guile was one of those guys that you played as if you had played the game for a while. And maybe a little misunderstood. I mean, there's a guy, Charlie, there's some backstory there. You know, maybe there's more underneath that rugged exterior of Guile. Yeah, yeah. And that hair, that I, I don't know. I'm, I'm envious. My hair stands on end, but even it doesn't. Oh dear. Uh oh, we got him. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there was no language. There, there could be. <laughs> That's, um... Wow. Okay. This is the only way that I can describe it. My favorite f flavor of Slush Puppy. Look at this grimace. <laughs> this is incredibly tart uh, the, on the back end. But the, the, the first flavor you get, it, it tastes like a, a lemon lime, which is the same shade of green. Slush Puppy. Uh, you get that on the front end, but then the back is super fuzzy energy drink, you know. Tim, I have never drank like bubble mix, the stuff you use to blow bubbles, but I have to imagine this is what it would taste like. <laughs> For a split second at the beginning, you have this great lemon lime flourish, and then it immediately turns into like rocket fuel or something. I mean, on the back end, it doesn't seem like something you should be ingesting. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. At least of your own volition, but that, that little hint of lemon lime at the beginning is just. Speaking of, speaking of things you should not be ingesting, I'm sure, as all Trekkies know, Romulan ale is illegal. So we're going to see precisely why the Federation has outlawed it. 
Now, this might kill some of my geek cred, but I'm not a huge Trekkie. And not that I dislike the property or the franchise or mm -hmm. how, how you will. Uh, just never particularly fun. Another beautiful shade. Maybe it's because we're out here under the beautiful sunshine, soaking in some UV rays, some, some I, vitamin D. I feel the need. Sorry, good. These, these colors of all, uh, all colors alone, these get passing scores. Maybe not necessarily on taste. I have um, to give it cred because uh, I am definitely a Trekkie, and yeah. in uh, Star Trek VI, the the subject that was in the uh, the wine glass they were drinking was blue, so they did at least get that right. So. And there was a little note, Tim, that you may have overlooked. Uh, this product is not endorsed by the United Federation of Planets. Yep, yep. So yeah, they, they went the extra mile to throw some geek cred, some you know bonus points. Let's see how it uh, fares. Sheldon approves. Which I didn't approve of either of the J.J. Abrams movies. At all. This one's, I don't know why, because I, I imagine these were all, you know, uh, surfaced in the same refrigerator, but it's not quite as chilled as the other ones. It's got kind of a... Mm -hmm. But um, flavor-wise, this one didn't wow me like the other two did. It's mm -hmm. not quite as spectacular. The first one was kind of comforting. It kind of like led you in, like, yeah, come hang out with me. And then it threw that energy drink stuff in your face. Mm -hmm. The second one was just kind of crazy. This one, though, tastes like the bunch of crushed up nerds. Mm -hmm. And um, some sort of a soda, you know, and seltzer water, okay. basically. That's what it tastes like to me, like a mouthful of, of sour nerds just chewing them up. Um, I, I don't know. To me, this didn't come off as all that intense to me. To me, it just tasted like blue Kool-Aid. So it's not something I would seek out to drink, but I'm not going to go out of my way to avoid it uh, either, like uh, our second subject there. Think uh, of these fans, not necessarily, if you're an energy drink connoisseur, you're not going to be looking for a small eight ounce to really get your kick. Energy yeah. drink fans are going to go bigger, badder, better. So it's not for them. Mm -mm. People that enjoy a fine, you know, uh, have a, uh, a very, um, what would you say, a nuanced palate, this isn't for them either. They stick to the reds and whites, the wines. Um, this though is for, um, it's a gimmick. It, it's right, designed to cash in on the name. It, it, it certainly is, but I think that can be fun, and that's fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you could do, um, I haven't seen the second J.J. Uh, Abrams Star Trek, but an ideal world like something like this, you're having your friends over for a DVD screening party, and you know, you've got the big 60-inch plasma queued up, you got the popcorn fresh, you open up a fucking cool, again, uh, my language today is... PG-13. <laughs> you, you open up the cooler, though, and you pull out seven or eight, um, you know, Romulan L's, and... I think that would, you know, kind of kick off the night ride. That's just what I'm thinking. So, um... J.J. Abrams, stay away from Star Trek. It's almost go, as go blue. Make, go make your Star Wars movie. Sure. Yeah, almost as blue. I hate... The first movie was a slap in the face, and the second movie was just a groan. Like, oh, really? You're going to recreate the death of Spock's, like, line for line, scene for scene? Why? The energy's hit, man. It's time to fly. He's in therapy, don't worry.